Hello there and welcome to the new video where I will be sharing you one question, rather an interesting question, whether uh, one should get a job in startup versus MNC. So I have, no, I have never got any opportunity in the startup. I'll be, uh, I'll, I, I have been mostly working in the MNCs right from the start of my career. But startup is something we have heard a lot. I have heard a lot through my friends or my cousins who have been working over there. And based on that, uh, basically I'm just trying to share my experience, what I have seen in the MNC and the kind of things what I know based on my conversations with my friends and uh, my, my, some of my relatives who have been working in this startup. And I will just try to give the exposure or try to give the answer from three different perspectives. And the number one perspective is basically the work, the work that you do. So the work, what I am referring over here is the data analysis domain because I am, I am in that domain and, uh, and the work or the kind of uh, efforts that you require in MNC as compared to the startup is something what I will share based on the data analytics or data science related work. So overall, what I have seen, whether you are in MNC or in a startup, the work will be uh, somehow similar. It may be a case that startup, startups basically expect you to do more work. That means you will be working for a couple of more hours as compared to the MNCs. In MNCs, you have the proper departments, proper processes through which you can set up. You have the proper systems which are in place. In a startup, based on the age of the startup, if it is completely new, you may have to work right from you know, defining the systems, about extracting the data and how you will complete the entire cycle of data analysis. You may be, uh, you know, getting that level of the thing or may have to be involved in each and everywhere. But in case of MNCs, you may have like more work from the demand from the management or from the department perspective, but less on less on the systems and defining data and things like those because tools and systems and data are already in place. So that may be a difference of work uh, that you can find. I'm pretty sure on MNC side, uh, you will have these things, but on startup side, based on the age of the startup, it may be the case that things are not properly set up and you are spending more and more hours, not just on the analysis, but on the system side. So that's my assessment on the MNC. Usually, I, if I compare, I as a beginner around uh, 10, around 12 years back, uh, at that time, almost every day, I was spending close to 8 to 10 hours. And even today, you know, this has not reduced a lot. I am spending close to 8 to 10 hours every day to complete the work which is given to us. Earlier, it was just that I was only responsible for my work. But today, I am responsible for, along with my work, my team's work. But, uh, and in the startup, if you are a beginner, you will be sort of spending similar amount of time or a little bit more based on the demand of the startup. However, generally an idea or generally uh, the, in the idea that I have got based on these conversation is that uh, expectations are a lot and you need to deliver upon that and that's why you are spending more and more time in the office or in the official work uh, for doing this uh, to complete this work. So that's the number one thing I wanted to compare where I don't find much difference. The only difference is the, uh, the structured work versus unstructured work. In startup, you may have unstructured work and you may need to define everything. In MNC, you will be having some structure and you will be more and more worried about the analysis and the output. The next thing is about the visibility. I hope I have got the image right. But uh, visibility means um, at what level you can go and have the communication. So in, in usually in the startup, there is a completely uh, open sort of a culture or a flat hierarchy where you can even go and talk to the CEO because there are not very man, there are not many management layer as compared to the MNC. So in MNC, you have like a huge uh, layers through which you need to cross one by one if you let's say one fine day want to talk to a CEO right about about your work about your analysis and all but in case of a startup you may get this type of a visibility that uh, you are talking to a founder or a CEO on a directly basis you are even meeting to those folks on a daily basis and basically trying to get an idea directly from them about the things they want to see 
uh, in the analytics or the, the data analysis that you are preparing. As compared to the MNCs, the vis visibility will be limited to your manager or your stakeholder. Let's say you are in an organization who are who, who is basically having the stakeholders in US or UK or Asia Pacific somewhere in Singapore or Australia, you may be talking to them, but not beyond them. Uh, very rarely it happened that uh, to a beginner or to a mid-level person as well, usually they talk to their manager or uh, you know one level above just to go through all the analysis piece and not, do not get a very high level of visibility as compared to the startup. And startups, like I said, you may even talk to CEO probably on a daily basis or on a weekly basis just to go through the analysis. And that's something uh, very, uh, that's something I, I got to know from one of my friend who is in the, who is in, in the, what I would say a, a startup, which is like uh, five to seven year old, still in that they have the access to, to the CEO where based on the work or analytics that they are preparing, they are able to present and get the feedback directly from them. So I'm hoping that if the startup is even one or two year old, you may get that type of a visibility when you are working in the startup. That's basically a huge difference where you are getting a mind share or you are getting the visibility directly from the founder and the CEO. Here, you may be talking to your management layer who may or may not be as creative as, as those, those guys who are basically trying to develop and uh, you know uh, making a startup sort of a unicorn startup and probably an MNC in future. So that's an advantage that you can get to work in the startup. Second, third thing I want to talk about is the salary piece. So in MNCs, you have the, uh, like I said, at the start proper processes, even within the HR department, where there is a proper process for hiring a candidate, there is a proper process of you know, putting a salary and there are proper salary ranges in which you will have a particular level of designation like if you are hiring a junior data analyst then it, the person is becoming data analyst to senior data analyst for all of those things you have the salary, salary ranges and you will be getting salary uh, within that range itself so they have like when I say range it is like minimum, minimum medium and uh, maximum so generally they try to keep you on a medium range so that you are properly put as compared to the industry in which they are. But in case of a startup, based on the demand, based on the criticality of the project and all, they will basically, they, they will not hesitate to go out of the range or go out of the normal, normal uh, you know, ranges and give you a better compensation. And it all depends on, like I said, criticality, their urgency and things like those. Also, when you are in a startup, let's say you have joined the startup with some good salary, if, if I would say not very high salary, you always have this thing, let's say you have spent around eight months or one year into a startup, uh, you know, if you are jumping to, let's say, another job, there is a very good chance that you will going to get a very good salary. That's something what I observed when I was recently talking to my cousin. He is like, uh, he has uh, joined the startup around two years back. And within two years, the kind of jump he has got in, in, in the working in the startup is something I was able to get after around seven to eight years of work. So in like two and three years, he is at that compensation that where I was, uh, in uh, in seven to eight years, so that's the difference uh, I I got, and uh, that basically amazed me that if if you are in the right startup at the right time, then probably you will going to get a handsome compensation. Obviously, the work is huge; you may have to do a lot of work. There is always a risk associated that what will happen when uh, this startup will fail. But this is all part of an excitement because you are at the start of your career, right? So that's why I think. Uh, if you are the one uh, who wants to have a good work along with that, the good money, and there is no, uh, why, why we shouldn't have that, right? Everyone is basically at the end of the day, it all comes down to how much compensation we are, we are getting. So startup, I would say is definitely will be my choice. If I would be starting my career today, I would probably not go for an MNC where I am bounded by the processes, the systems and you know, all these things, which basically restricting me. Whereas in startup, I may have uh, no foundation. There is a good compensation. Definitely. I may have to work more and work on all those problems where I, 
I may not have the exposure and that's where I will get the exposure where maybe after three or four years, I will be having a complete idea of how you would really need to run a system in a new company. And that's why they pay you a higher salary, right? So that's, that's something I wanted to give you a recommendation in case if you are the one who are starting your career, you know, there is no, there should not be any hesitation to take a risk and join the startup. I'm pretty sure that uh, if your timings are right and uh, you are able to utilize the opportunity, you will going to get a very nice package as compared to the MNC, which probably you will going to get it in another, like I said, if not seven to eight years, probably five to six years, um, uh, compens uh, five to six years, you will going to get a compensation, which may you may get in startup in maybe two to three years. But that's all about, like I said, uh, is, is on the criticality, uh, the timings and how, uh, how uh, you know, proper way you are able to, uh, you know, utilize that opportunity and make that conversation, which is in mostly in your favor uh, from both work and compensation side. So that's mainly I wanted to show you three different things which I feel is important when deciding it. Um, and uh, if you feel like uh, you have any other additional point based on, let's say, your experience, whether in a startup or in an MNC, you want to share with me and, and with the community, let, let us know in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to know, uh, know and learn from your experience as well. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with some new topic.